We have gathered testimonials from various people in the Resonator family to tell you how Resonator has impacted the community and why you should consider becoming a Patreon subscriber. Enjoy. Because it is a place that you have diversity, basically, in arts and in everything else, and it's fun, and it has new things happening in all the aspects of art and other things. <laughs> yeah. And I really like one thing that I think is really important is the events for the younger people, for the kids, because there aren't any other places doing this. So it's a place where teenagers can come and have fun in a safe place, a safe environment. And that's very important for the city, very important. I think the most important thing is, okay, it's one place that you can come and present what you have. And you guys are always uh, open to, to receive this kind of diversity cultures and diversity arts. And this is, I think, is the most important stuff from Resonator to the city. And this is really, really emotionally for us that we are foreigners. Uh, emotionally part of this is, okay, get to this space that we can present our stuff and present what we are thinking. And this is really, really important to us. I think it's a good, you know, kind of groundbreaking place for, for artists. And, you know, I, I really enjoy helping artists that are, um, you know, are developing their, their skill to have a place to show and have a place to fill welcome and, and you know for me resonator is definitely where that kind of started you know um pretty quickly whenever i i started getting involved with resonator i was like this is a good place for me me to begin because you know i can tell that they want to help me showcase my work and even you know grow as not just an artist but also someone who wants to help other artists so i do think it's a more accessible space than a lot of other spaces um, that I've, you know, come across. It's a little less intimidating, I guess, is, is a big part of it. We take things seriously, but we don't take things with solace. So there's still this element of play that's involved in the approach that we take to, to art generally, to shows, to performance, to whatever it is. We're, we take it seriously to the to the point of serious execution, but we're not like, oh man, another one of these. It's just it's a consistent application of openness and genuine principles. Yeah, I think all spaces have their own sort of culture to them, and so um, when you have a bunch of different cultures in the same place, it's important to have a bunch of spaces. And each one can kind of represent different things. Depending on the art show, the gallery is a whole different place. And but Resonator for me was just very comfortable and very inviting. And I think a lot of the shows say, hey, you can make whatever you want, and that's valid. And so, you know, after coming here a lot, that kind of experience has just made me a lot more confident to put work into other galleries or just like put myself out there because I feel a little bit more validated for what I'm doing. And bringing artists from all over that we had made, met at printmaking events, bringing crazy performance artists through. Um, I've also really enjoyed uh, working with Resonator TV and like I really had fun with the haunted house installation, doing like big immersive installations to our some of my favorite kind of events, especially the art exhibitions where people are getting interactive. Um, Cat Castle is another one that I always enjoy, and like being able to just completely transform the space uh, through working with people and being able to see people interact with the art is, yeah, one of my favorite things. I think. Then I thought the best thing that happened to downtown was Adam and Eve, but now Resonator, right here, right now. It's a new voice. It's not just a place for weirdos. It's not alternative. It's just, to me, it's normal. It's something that needs to be done. And Community space is so rewarding because there's so many like different artists and different people, and I get so much like 
feedback on my work and the community aspect is huge to me. Basically every experience or opportunity that I've received in Norman for like, the growth of my art and myself as a brand and like a business has been through Resonator. Yeah, I mean, I think Norman's got a really healthy art scene and it's a kind of uh, diverse art scene. But when I got here five or six years ago, I noticed that there wasn't a place like Resonator that um, is more sort of open and accessible and supportive of people who are emerging as artists and up and coming and kind of figuring their, their thing out. And uh, Resonator's always been really welcoming. Um, I think that's one of the reasons that it's such a crucial space. It fosters a really good community as a result. Its most important role is kind of helping young people locally especially sort of feel like they have an in to that world where they can express themselves, where they can experiment and try new things. Um, and it's just another side of the Norman art scene that I think maybe didn't, didn't really get a chance to shine before Resonator was around. So uh, every time I come, I see, you know, visual arts, uh, music, and performance, a lot of performance arts too. So. Yeah, I'm impressed, and I think they feel, uh, Resonator fills a special spot in this community. I've watched it grow from just in music and art space into what it is now, and we are still growing. We, we will not stop um, the music and art community bringing people together, bringing more people together. And our students and people from the community have a chance to kind of come together and experience, you know, artists that are from the community and locally, but also artists that come from outside of Oklahoma and show here. Um, and I think it's a nice gateway uh, to connect the community as a whole. You know, creating an artist space for people to be able to express themselves and also in a lot of other ways I didn't expect, like hosting high school bands to play, which is a really great avenue for them to get experience in playing shows and growing the music scene. Having a space where anyone can come and create and just be, you know, just, just feel like themselves and to create in any way that they would like to. Um, Resonator has never pressured me to, to be a certain way. It's always been an open environment. So I thought that was really cool about Resonator. I think it's our part to uh, kind of point out that, that creativity is um, a little bit more important than marketability when it comes to art. And I think that what we do is kind of try to um, bring in artists at all levels of the art world and present them as equal and just kind of point out to people that, that um, whether you're a painter, whether you're a printmaker, whether you're a sculptor, whether you're a performance artist, whether you're a musician, um, that we're really all engaged in the, same, uh, in the same thing basically as creators. And I wanted to create a space where that was evident that that equality was evident.